Okay, let's go. Final Fantasy 16, day three. It's frickin' Wimdy. I gotta remember how to play. Also, I hope everyone enjoys the new emotes. Oh, can I cross the water? No. One out of ten game. Can't cross the water. YouTube title better be as freaking windy. Remind me. Send me a message so I remember it. <laughs> there are so many. Bye. One for every fragment of our mind. Oh. I never even realized that she's just spawning these things because she's losing her mind. Oh, I don't have my, uh... Sick of Toggle. I gotta remember how to play. It's not looking good. It's not looking good. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you the truth right now. It's not looking good. I keep. I keep hitting L1 to dodge. Keep your distance, boy. Dude, give me a break. Give me a break. I'll get you. I'll get it back. Don't worry. Keep your distance, boy. Get up. Wake wins. Wake wins. Who's that? Okay, see? That one went better. I didn't get hit once there. Um, one of the main things, though, like always, I'm gonna say, let me know if it sounds good, if there's something weird going on. Just let me know. Come here. No holding back. Come here. Come here. Keep your distance, boy. You know what to do, boy. Give them all you've got for. Sick of Toggle. Get him, boy. There, boy. I'm, I just get so distracted with, like, the abilities that I kind of get lost in the sauce a little bit with the dodging. Yeah. 
So do you have a high potion I can borrow? I get a healing icon? Fight. No, I don't want to fight you. We got a potion. Oh, we feeling good now. Freaking windy. I can't get over how good this game looks. In cutscenes, it looks so good. Okay, this is good. The Eye of the Tempest, a born of the darkness buried deep within a broken Lady Benedicta. The Eye of the Tempest is an uncontrollable vortex of immense proportion, fed so solely by Garuda's raw fury. We're going to go back to uh, the hideaway because we need some potions. Because we suck at the video game. And what do you want? What the hell do you mean what do I want, Matoya? If you're going to buy some, be quick about it. Ooh, a bastard sword. Ooh, yeah, let's buy the bastard sword. You're rubbing me blind, you know. Shut up. Sorry. That was rude. I apologize. I'm a little high strung right now. You'll not find a better price than that. Okay. It'd better all be here. You're rubbing me blind, you know. You'll not find a better price than that. Okay. There we go. I already feel better. Make it quick. Yeah, I will. What do you want? Upgrade my bastard sword. Oh, yes. Not bad. If I do say so myself. Oh, we can do it again? Goes to 120. Wait, it won't go up again if I do it again? Should last you a good while. I get four extra HP? Oh. Not bad, if I do say so myself. You freaking spoil me. Did last you a good while. Yes, he didn't go up. Oh, did I just craft a second bastard sword? Anything else? You can only go plus one? Bruh. Bruh. He's the dumbest man alive. He's the dumbest man alive. That's me, by the way. Um, 
Can I sell it back to you? Look what the curl dragged in. Shut up. Going purse weighing you down. Yeah. Wait, no. What? What? What did I do? I don't understand what I did. I'm be thankful you got that much. I reckon I can find a buyer. You got out else? I'm be thankful you got that much. Oh, these sell for a lot. Holy moly. Wait, can you upgrade your accessories? All? Sanfordian, dear. No, you can't. Reinforce. Okay, that's what I did wrong. So I have a soul. I have, a, I have two bastard sword ones because I upgraded two bastard swords. I guess. I don't know what I did there. But you can. I could have reinforced it, but I'm an idiot. So I crafted. I did. I crafted. Wait. Wait, so do you, you need to have it in your inventory. You craft a plus one and then you reinforce it. <laughs> All my y right is gone. I'm an idiot. Yes. So it says I have two what? plus one bastard swords, but why can't I sell it? Weighing you down. What happens if I sell this? You got out else? Do I just not have a weapon now? Oh no, I still have a bastard sword. Okay, never mind. I lost a... I'm dumb. Let's just say it that way. Okay, let's unlock some stuff. Ooh, I like that. Rook's Gambit. Jump back, then deliver a punish encounter. If the jump evades an attack, counter potency is increased. Cool. Summon a tornado that slowly hunts down nearby enemies, and upon ensnaring them, inflicts multiple hits. Look at that stagger damage. Oh, woof. While also partially restoring Clive's HP. Oh, son of a gun. We need that, because I'm bad. I mastered it. I don't know what that does, but I mastered it. I'm a master. Okay. Let's change those abilities now. I like Gouge. I think I'll take off Wicked Wheel for Rook's Gambit right now. And then Heat Wave actually isn't that great. Rising Flame might be better for right now. What have I done? Okay, so I took off Heat Wave, so let's put on... Cleric's Medallion, because I need all the healing I can get. Okay, now we're talking. There's a good girl. Hey, buddies. Hungry, are you? Okay, here we go. The Eye of the Tempest. It's time, it's time. Oh, it's time.
Oh, I'm sure Clive will react fine to this. Wait! Clive? What's that? The Dominant. The man who killed my brother. Are you absolutely certain? No. I've seen him every night for the past 13 years. Watched as the flames of his icon took Joshua. Look out! Dead? I'm here, and so's Togo. Don't worry about us. You've been waiting for this. Go! Sit! Oh my goodness. Forgive me. Awakening. Chase this piece of trash. Oh! Where did he go? There's something, something going on in Clive's brain. Well, Noka sits on too. Holy shit! I'm not here for you, Garuda. Well, I just shit my pants, so that's great. Dude, why is this game scary all of a sudden? Once again, can't help but notice how great the soundtrack is. Uh, can it release on something already? It's like can you listen to it non-stop. Holy frick, that tree said, see you later. Oh! What is going on? So windy. This game is gorgeous. Holy moly. I see you up there, little fart. Oh. Oh, we're going up onto the hillside where there's no way to go. I found okay. you. Yeah, this will end well. Yeah, this is going to end well. She laughing. Um, um, what? Oh no, she's hot. Where is he? Where is the dominant? Get Not this time. Your enemies will become partially staggered when their will cages are reduced. Use Brutus Deadly Embrace. Right! Wake. Yes. Oh, hell yeah! We're fishing! I got a big one!
Dude, I don't want to toot my own horn right now, but I haven't been hit yet. So, we're taking that to the bank. I would. Okay, I wasn't sure. That's unfair. Because I can't do anything. Okay, well that's unfair because I can't see shit. We ride it. We ride it, Dawn. Are we mashing? You damn right we mashing. Um, okay. Okay. <laughs> Garuda was indeed slain. I mean, it's insane that Clive just fought an icon, like, you know? It's a little nutty. <laughs> I mean, you're nothing. You're a monster. And I will not let you stand in my way. Oh. 
Oh, yeah. It's a little forest fiery right now. the bad guy oh my good god controls for ifrit are as follows frick it uh, circle can be used to charge an enemy covering great distances in a short period of time yeah okay all ability abilities available while embodying ifrit can be confirmed on the abilities tab guess what we don't care Oh! Oh, 3,000 damage? Oh my good god, what in the fudge is this video game? Oh, she got me. Just kidding. Take the right hook. Oh my goodness. This is insanity. This is insanity. I can't jump? Frick it, don't need it. Oh, where is she? Let the sky fall! And we tremble! Throw that shit back. Well, that's I can't see anything. music that's playing. <laughs> on rocks now, okay. Sick. Oh my god. Let's just say I can't stand up right now, or I'll be banned. Seeing those damage numbers pop up. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, step on me, Garuda.
the grow back. Oh my good god. like doing this because it's kind of what happened in the beginning. Oh, almost got me around the beans. Toasting. This is brutal. Oh, fire activated. What? What just happened? Ooh, a purple wind shard. The power of the icon Garuda made manifest. This shard of crystal is light as a feather and can be heard to emit a soft hum when held to its ear. Oh, this is dangerous for the wildlife in the forest. Control it, Clive! It is you, isn't it, Clive? Stop this! Now! Oh, there he is. Uh-oh. Oh, he's going full. Wait, I have to fight. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, we would get judgment bolted. <laughs> oh, son of a bitch. Stop coughing. Stop doing that, Sid. Too nice is your problem. Bloody mess, this. <sighs> okay, so we do now know if your icon dies, well, you're the icon. It doesn't necessarily mean you die as well, so... The ghost you've been chasing it was inside you all along. <laughs> They'll be damned if I know what that means. But how though? It's Sid saw the guy. It's 
game gonna make me cry now? You have to listen to him. Banner. This can't be what you wanted, can it? Main character Sid, let's go! Bellinus Tor, the Holy Empire of Sambrakay. Sambra Cage. <laughs> the king is bold and desperate. Will you engage him personally, Your Highness? Of course. Grigor's breath fill your wings. Oh my god! This is the greatest game on the planet. in the day's work. Reform the cohorts. At what? Your Highness. Saboteurs. Their attacks are frequent and widespread, even in the holy capital. The capital? What of my father? His is radiance he... is safe. But he has ordered the city guards strengthened. We can expect no reinforcements. That is of no matter. The Emperor's safety is paramount. I shall deal with our enemies here. You in trouble, Clive. It was me. 
Oh, this is going to be devastating. I killed Joshua. Ah, you're awake. You're yeah, just full of surprises. First that trick with Garuda, then whatever the hell that other thing was. Didn't know you had it in you. Did you really have to strip him butt-ass naked? Do it. Hey. Kill me. <laughs> it was me. I killed him! I killed Joshua! I killed them all! I'm a monster! And I deserve to die! So end it! End it now! Please! Please! Ah! I reckon I can take you. If that's what you want. But first, I thought I'd give you the benefit of my timeless wisdom. It seems to me, you see, that since you're still breathing, you might as well make yourself useful. Get dressed. Pretty as you are, you're not my type. I'll, uh... See you in hell. I definitely read that as I'll see you in hell, and I was like, damn, dude. <laughs> read the room. <laughs> I'm laughing. I shouldn't be laughing. It's very sad. There's still something weird, though, because he was following that hooded figure. He saw that figure, and that figure had a girl with him. Like, it, he was there. He wasn't just seeing things. There are certain times during the game that you can't do any side quests because Clive is the saddest man on the planet. Also... May as well hear what he has to say. Might as well hear what he has to say. Um, hey Valencia, how's it going? Hey Panda, how's it going? Um, I understand. Does everything sound good? Like when the when the fighting was going on, it was pretty loud. But I'm okay with that. I'll deal with that. Oh, Torgo buddy. As long as when I talk during things, if I am talking, it doesn't completely drown me out. Torgal forgives me. Look at him sitting there waiting for me. Don't go making me throw you back in there now, eh? Hey. Shut up. Do you forgive me, buddy? Oh, shit. I don't think he does. I did. Poor thing. All dressed in dirty rags. I'll have to make a new dress for her. Torgal, I'm sorry. Oh my goodness. He literally is just ignoring me. What is going on? That's it by all accounts. Not by Bellinus Tor. Gods. It's a wonder we didn't feel it here. To end? The, just, just, just. The fight was insane enough. But then to, after the fight happens, you... It goes right into frickin' Bahamut fighting Odin in a battlefield? Are you kidding me? Insane. Insane.
interested, though, into seeing what this quest is titled. Or what it says about it. Clive discovers that the second dominant of fire, the one who slew his brother 13 years before, was none other than himself. I still don't... I don't know. I'm still on the edge there. Because he was seeing someone. And Garuda was searching. I mean, Benedict obviously could have also been... Because she literally had them in a cell. Yeah, there's something going on there. This isn't all what it seems right now. There's there, there's something... I'll, I'll leave it at that, but... Uh, his resolve to see Joshua's murderer put to the sword undiminished. He begs for Sid to grant him death. But Sid has other plans for his tortured ward. Finally crawled out of the crypt, eh? You look like it. Although I thank you for doing us the courtesy of covering up. Don't. Well, oh, still have a bit of fight left in you. Then listen, I've arranged a meeting with Gav. In case you've forgotten, you're the one he's been putting his nose to work for. For nothing. Just listen. While you've been relaxing in your cell, Gav's been busy sniffing out your dominance. And according to his last report, he's picked up a scent. Gav's gone to a fair bit of trouble for you. The least you can do is hear the poor bugger out. He's going to meet us at the King's Fall. Pack your stuff. We'll leave as soon as you're ready. We go see Jill, by any chance? She's still snoozing? A lot of shit has gone on. She's still sleeping. Jailbert, are you snoozing? Hello! I'm going to assume I don't have any side quests to do. No. What I will do though is, because we have a stop, a stoppage right now, and when the, while the cutscenes are going, you can go into the active time lore, but I go completely brain turn off when the cutscenes are going so I don't think about it and I don't want to like stop the cutscenes. So let's head to uh, old old man Hippocrates. Tomes, his good friends call him. I'm his good friend. And we'll read some stuff about what we just witnessed. Because it'll probably explain why they're fighting. Why Odin and Bahamut were just fighting. Okay. Can I just quick teleport there? Because I'm an idiot. Old soul Hippocrates, you will never believe the shit that I'm telling you right now, my man. There is a rather fascinating excerpt I've been meaning to show you. The Valisian calendar. The dating system used throughout the twins, which marks the years of the realm, that have passed since the signing of the Continental Accord, some 800 years ago. In the centuries since, nations have risen and fallen, and the concord between them has faltered. But the calendar persists. Okay. Aegis. Aegis. Edgy. Eegy. Oh, I don't freaking know. Uh, dating back to antiquity, the term Eegy has historically been used to describe those ethereal entities that could be conjured by dominance. Uh, they're capable of casting potent magics corresponding to the elemental alignment of their creators. Oh, so there's going to be more of these types. Uh, though unquestionably formidable, they will fade immediately should the dominant who give them being happen to be slain. If you have a question for me, I should be happy to answer it. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna talk now, okay? Gav sits faithful scout who puts his legendary nose to work in tracking the movements of slavers, soldiers, and any other object of interest to the hideaway. The ever agreeable fellow only too gladly delving behind enemy lines if you can get a good story out of it. The hooded man. After, after Ifrit's awakening, a mysterious man that many believe to be the dominant of fire 
Clefra saw him at Phoenix Gate on the night of the Imperial invasion, and for years believed him to be the dominant of the icon that killed his brother. But to Clive's eternal chagrin, he has proved otherwise. Uh, my brain's my brain's moving right now. I got a feeling. I'm not gonna say anything. I got a feeling. Uh, an Imperial bear turned deserter who joined forces with Sid to hunt down the second Dominant of Fire. However, after being drawn into a fierce battle with Benedicta, Dominant of Garuda, the power of the mysterious icon Ifrit awakes within him, and he discovers that the Dominant of Fire he has long been searching for, the one who killed his brother, was none other than himself. Uh, Ifrit unmasked a fire-aspected icon that first emerged in the year of the Realm 860, when Imperial forces attacked the Rosarian stronghold of Phoenix Gate. Clad in infernal flame, the fiendish creature flung itself against the phoenix, overpowering the icon with a strength and ferocity never seen before. Its reappearance was to usher in a second shocking revelation, that its dominant was none other than Clive Rosfield. Uh, the Warden of the Wind, who Benedicta transformed into during her ill-fated flight from the Empire, it takes the form of a fearful harpy, summoning storms and tearing into the flesh of its prey with hot hawk-like talons. Its dominant is most often born among the descendants of the Motes of Wind, an ancient tribe that once dwelled in the land spanning the Strait of Oth Otha, what is now called the Crystalline Dominion. Oh, here we go. The Battle of Belenus Tor. The Battle of Belenus Tor was a conflict fought between the Holy Empire of Sambrek and the Kingdom of Walud in the year 873. Having lost vital territory to Sambraqua forces earlier, or eight years earlier in the Battle of the Twin Realms, the Waloders launched an assault on the eponymous peak. Eponymous. Hippopotamus? Looking to regain a foothold in the Imperial lands on the opposite side of the Strait of Atha. Both sides fielded their icons, and in the ensuing showdown between Odin and Bahamut, an entire Sambraqua legion was lost, and the Waloders regained their outpost on Storm. Oh. So they lost that fight. I wasn't sure what happened there. So yeah. Palmet lost that fight. Fudge. Um Yeah, we're reading. Sorry, buddy. It's like a son of the Archduke Rosaria and the heir to the Ducal Throne upon the night of the Imperial invasion. Uh the shock seeing his father slain before his disbelieving eyes led him to losing control of his icon and setting the castle alight. Uh, from the flames arose a second icon of fire, whose murderous rampage laid both the castle and phoenix low. Yo, Prince. Have a safe drive home, dude. What did you miss? Um, the greatest 20 minutes of my life? I was full masked the whole time. We fought Garuda and then it went into the, uh... The cutscene of Bahamut and Odin fighting uh Clive's faithful friend who's very mad at me right now didn't even walk with me the two were separated on the night of the tragedy at Phoenix Gate yet reunited 13 years later in the depths of the Nisa Defile in the intervening years Torgal not only grew into a fine hound but met with Sid who trained him to work as a hunting dog after meeting with Clive again, Torgal gladly returns to the service of his former master. Born in the stables of Roseleth Castle, Ambrosia was chosen by the young Clive Rosfield to be his personal steed and raised by him from a chick. She is a proud bird and deeply loyal to her master, quickly turning her beak upon any butt who should attempt to pet her. Clive's personal steed, during the attack on Phoenix Gate, she raced to Clive's rescue, saving him from certain de death at the cost of an eye, a price she gladly paid. Whoa, someone's missing. Interesting. Oh, Sid has a lot. Holy moly. Founder and leader of the hideaway, where he and his comrades labor to liberate bearers and dominance from servitude, a life that Sid knows all too well as he bears the burden of being the dominant of Ramu, warder of Warden of Thunder. No longer does he fight for any one nation, but for all people.
There was a moment yesterday when you ran around your couch three times with controller in hand, just yelling, this game is the greatest. <laughs> Every big moment so far in this game has been... And I'm like seven hours in. <laughs> uh, leader of the Hideaway and Dominant of Ramu. Warden of Thunder, born in a land beyond the Twins, Sid journeyed to Velisthea as a sword for hire. It was here that he entered the service of Walud, awakened as a dominant, and was finally elevated to Lord Commander of the Royal Army. However, he was soon to abandon his post, and Benedicta, that he might instead create a world where bearers and dominants can die on their own terms. Yeah, so there's a lot of, like, back lore that you need to read about to learn, because they're not, they can't explain everything in the game, so I understand why they did this. Because did you need to know this about Sid? Not necessarily. But it's nice to know. A commander of the Kingdom of Walud's elite intelligencers. Oh, we read this, yeah. After Clive took her power at Carnarvent uh, and the keep was set to fire, she and her only comrades were forced into making a hurried retreat, only to be, to be set upon by bandits. What was left of Benedicta's power ran amok, summoning forth the raging whirlwind within which she was at last to lose her life at the hands of Clive Rosfield and his icon, Ifrit. That's the thing um, about when a game is announced and a few years go by and they release trailers a bunch. Like, Benedicta is dead and it's we're about seven hours in but throughout all the trailers you're like oh she's gonna be a big part she's gonna be in the whole game <laughs> it's just interesting to be like well though it's four years or however long it was you see the trailers and you're like you get attached to these characters but it's also just like just like that oof she gone Uh, Hugo uh, Kupka. Kupka's awakening as the dominant of, uh, of the icon Titan thrust him to the forefront of Dalmechian politics, when he gained influence over both the Republic's armies and its policy making, um, as well as a personal fortune. He has little love for his country, taking advantage of his position to benefit himself and himself alone. His love for Benedict the Harmon, however, is absolute, and he would gladly betray his every ally just to be with her. Oh. Okay, so Hugo's probably not going to take the news very well. Uh, Dion Lesage, leader of the Dragoons, the most elite warriors of the Holy Empire of Sambrek, uh, who are the first to leap into the fray when the Empire finds herself under threat. Often, literally. Dion is also the dominant of Bahamut, Warden of Light. A Lord Commander of the Kingdom of Oled's armies, he accompanied his liege to Fort Zernitra in the Republic of Dalmachia to negotiate the provisions of reinforcements. See, this person's interesting. Here he is, Barnabas, the King of Alud. The aloof and unshakable Barnabas Tharmer, first of his name, if you can meet his steely gaze without flinching. King of Alud and dominant of Odin, the Warden of Darkness. At the Battle of Bellinus Tor, he not only took personal command of the royal army, but rode into the fray himself, galloping through the air atop his six-legged steed, and goading Bahamut into a duel that shook the skies. Okay, Charon, one of Sid's most trusted allies, a merchant who calls the hideaway her home, with a little help from her hard-working yet long-suffering apprentice, Goats. Uh, she can source whatever supplies the residents of the hideaway need, provided they're willing to pay. She wears a glass eye in her right socket. Yeah, very Matoya-like. Uh, apprentice to Charon, an ally of the hideaway, a gentle giant who has a warm word for everyone, but is not afraid to put his foot down in the face of injustice. Goat's every waking moment is spent in service to his nan, and he can do little of his own accord without his without her express permission. The hideaway's resident historian, nicknamed Tomes, he traveled Valisthea as a youth seeking to unearth the secrets of this land of legend, and over the years has developed a deep knowledge of Valisthean geography, history, religion, and folklore. Holy moly, everyone. Can we calm down a little bit? Servant of the man who goes by the name Lord Margrace. Together they travel across the twins to some unknown end. See? Exactly. Why is she here? 
a late Archduke of the Grand Duchy of Rosaria and father of Clive and Joshua, Elwyn's reign ended when he was beheaded by servants of the Holy Empire of Sambrek in their ignoble attack on Phoenix Gate. Known not only for his inspiring leadership and skill with a blade, but his disapproval of the mistreatment of bearers, his legacy lives on in all those who oppose imperial rule and what remains of Rosaria. Rodney, Lord Commander of the Rosarian Army, outranked only by his firm friend Archduke Elwyn. Murdoch and his shields accompanied Elwyn and Joshua to Phoenix Gate to perform the rite of ancestral communion, only to be set upon first by Imperial infiltrators, then a second shadowy icon of fire. Within those flames, Murdoch was engulfed. Rest in peace, Murdoch. Sir Wade. Lowell Shield of Rosaria, chosen by Lord Commander Rodney uh, uh, Murdoch to accompany Clive on his expedition to Stillwind. Though he did all he could to return the favor that he owed to Joshua for saving his life as a boy during the attack on Phoenix Gate. Wade was to meet the same fate as the prince. Though he did everything in his power to assist Joshua and Archduke Elwyn's flight, fight, flight from Finn's Gate on the night of the attack, his years of distinguished service were to come to close when he was swallowed by the flames of the rampaging phoenix. It's kind of insane. But he was to lose his life to a crusader's axe in the course of their mission. Yep. See, why does this guy get a frickin' person of interest? Second in command of the Dragoons, foremost fighting for- Oh, he's second in command. Oh, that's why. Uh, his sword remains ever at the ready, should anyone be foolish enough to make an attempt on the life of his liege, Lord Prince Dion. Oh, and Grand Poppy from the frickin' very first, uh, cutscene. Chief strategist and the former field marshal of the Delmechian Republic, while there was a time he took personal command of his troops, Hugo Kupka's rise to prominence led to, this, to his being recalled from the battlefield by reason of his advancing age, for which he bears the vainglorious dominant a deep-seated grudge. And then there's this guy. He's an official advisor. Alas, Hugo Kupka does not take kindly to his advice being ignored. Okay. And then, uh, Geralf. Second in command in, of Willode's uh, Royal Intelligence are serving under Benedicta Harmon, killed by footpads while attempting to evacuate the stricken Benedicta from the collapsing Caer Norvant. Master Chronicler. Okay. Let's go through the bestiary quick. The Warden of Thunder, whose power most likely lately awakened within Sidolphus Telamon, the icon is known the realm over as a symbol of judgment, no doubt inspired by its sage man and the scepter with which it summons its eleven bolts. Folklore has it that not only are dominance of Rama blessed with the command of lightning, they're also granted a deeper understanding of the true nature of the world. Interesting. Man, Bahamut looks sick. The Warden of Light, whose power dwells within Dion the Sage, Prince of Sambrequay, Sambrek. In the Holy Empire, the Gregorian faithful hold dragons to be sacred creatures, and Bahamut the most sacred of them all. Because of this, as well as the protection it grants them, the icon is loved and revered by the Imperial populace. Uh, the Warden of Darkness, who rides into battle atop his spectral steed, and whose black blade is said to be sharp enough to split the very seas in twain, his latest dominant. King Barnabas of Walud. Okay, we're good. You are always welcome, Clive. We read too damn much, Hippocrates. <laughs> Let's be on our way. Sid? Come on. Gavel be waiting for us. Get your stuff together. Okay. Where's Torgal? He's still mad at me. Are you still mad at me, buddy? I'm sorry. Oh god, look, he looked away from me. I'm sorry!
King's Fall. Here tumble the waters of the Empire's brooks and bourns to converge into a single resplendent cataract where a bygone king is said to have lost both life and kingdom. Holy moly. Pretty. Not so long ago, this here was a thriving trade route. Then the blight came. The people left. And just like that, it was deserted. Making it the perfect little shortcut. Gab's waiting for us up ahead. Come on. Still feeling sorry for yourself? Please, think about it, Clive. The rumors all point to... That was an Imperial signal. Oh, I shouldn't shit. Be here. The old fort's been abandoned for years. Our little chat can wait. I need to see what the bastards are up to. You go on ahead and meet up with Gab. But we both know that... No buts about it. Oh, he does forgive me. Okay, Torkoal. Sorry. I don't really like how Sid left me. The Hunter and the Hunted. Oh, fudge. Good boy. Love you, little buddy. This is stupid. I'm the dominant of fire. We sent Galv on a wild goose chase. Freaking spiders. Yuck. Yuck. Just so somber. <sighs> oh, is there a T Rex? Shit. Over here. 
wasn't too bad this is when he was there's a few times where he was charging at me i thought he was further away the minotaur main a main using everything from helm crest to hairbrushes primarily by those people lucky enough never to have met with a minotaur <laughs> and low did sir crandall strike the main from the beast and rob him of his strength from the noble knight Yeah, when he charged, it was like, it didn't look like he was close enough to hit you, but he was. Another perfect little shortcut, Sid. Straight to a nest of bloodthirsty beasts. Okay, well. Sid didn't know. How the fight music isn't playing when you fight here. That's what I was worried was going to happen when I wasn't paying attention. Hit the wrong button to do shit. Get the wall, you got, boy. You know what to do, boy. Sick of toggle. Get him. Get him, boy. 
Oh, you can move cancel. I was not aware of that. Get him. Not this time. Get him, boy. Disagree. God, the environments are pretty. Holy moly. Well, that's the first time I found a potion uh, in a long time that actually I didn't have room for. Oh shit! Oh. There he is! Don't let him escape! Kill the deserter! Oh, hell yeah! Hell yeah! <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Clive, what's the situation? You're late. Gaff's in trouble. What? The Imperials are on his tail. We have to get to him before they do. Understood. I'm here to even the odds. Any objections? I'll take the dragon. You take the dragoon. Okay, off to a great start. Okay. 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 Okay, now... Now we're playing. Die, you bastard! I think that hurt me more than it hurt him. Sorry, lad. Don't know how much help I'm gonna be here. Get him, boy! Sick of toggle. Alright, 
one down, one to go. Thanks, Sid. Kind of been sucking over here. Dude, I'm just not like. I keep kind of hitting the wrong button here. Like that right there. Keep your distance, boy. Thank you, Sid. Holy moly. Come on, let's finish him off. Wait, wait. Sick of Toggle. of the dying sun slain that's so cool i'm getting my l2 and r2s mixed up like i'm trying to do something but i'm like i'm just like full mashing and it's messing me up in fights An imperial link many have tendered explanations as to how imperial dragoons are able to leap to such absurd heights from the power of prayer to a strict diet of hair toad and crickets but none save the knights themselves know the truth. Whatever the secret is, plain that heavy plate would only prove a hindrance. And so the Empire equips its dragoons with armor forged from lighter than linen Mithra. This link is part of a vest that would have been worn beneath the breastplate. Nice. Imagine three of those guys at once. Come on. Fight Gav, buddy. Oh, shit. Gav's yeah, holding onto the branch. Save him. He actually was. Help me. 
Oh. I've got you. Oh. Yeah, I've got a booty on him. Damn. <laughs> Oh, he would have been fine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Quick, tell me everything before you die. Clive doesn't have your nose, I said. He'd stumble off a cliff, I said. Well, that's a trouble with a nose like mine. Can't help sticking it where it's not wanted. But if it wasn't for you two, my sniffing deers would be over. Thank you. Truly. So, what news? Well, I uh, found out where your friend's heading for one thing. Gav, I... Him and his mate are on their way to your old stomping ground. Rosaria. You should have seen what they did to the Imperials who tried to stop them. There's no question about it. He's a dominant fire, all right. He can't be. Clive, I saw you turn into an icon before my very eyes. And yes, there's a good chance it was you who killed the Phoenix. But we weren't alone, were we? It was the fellow you saw enter the whirlwind. I... I saw him too. Exactly. <laughs> you didn't dream it, Clive. He's out there. But who is he? Don't ask me. I don't bloody know. But I do know one thing. You're gonna find him and find out. After all, you swore an oath. What? You swore you'd avenge your brother's death that you'd never rest until you'd hunted down the man responsible. So? Find out if this man's responsible and kill yourself if he's not. Sit. I... Don't thank me. Thank Gav. <laughs> thank you, Gav. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> Watch out, Gav. A lot of axes come out of, flying off screen. Just be careful, buddy. No birds returning this year. The deadlands have swallowed their roosts, like as not. We're running out of time. We'll be in Rosaria in a day or two. Back to where it all began. I knew it. He must be stopped. Who is he? Who is he? Who is he they speak of? to the hideaway though not impossible to tell from the outside the fallen constructs interior is surprising well yeah what it why 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 what spitting great gouts of fire you was like a bleeding volcano have a seen a volcano what you think i'm having you on Clive your friend 
She's awake. Right. Go to her, you fool. Right, you lot. Enough slacking. Goots, come with me. Goots. Gav, go and get those wounds seen to. Oh, oh, give it to me straight. How long have I got? So? All in good time. Let's make ourselves scarce. The hell did that mean? Jill. Bruh. You see a little moogle sitting there? You see a little moogle? It's a little moogle. Isn't the moogle funny? <laughs> they even have a moogle. Oh. I've never <laughs> Look seen at one him. in the flesh. A little cutie. I'm sure it's said in my father's bestiary that they live deep in the forest. And that they never reveal themselves to humans. Nectar the Bolt. Hell yeah. Nectar, you say? Clive. Hey, how do you understand Moogle? <laughs> so it would seem. I've been banging my that pom pom against a brick wall. <laughs> painful. The Moogle sounds are so good. Okay, you got nothing for me, little buddy? Sounds good. Let's get this fixed before someone. It's true then. It really is you. It is. Clive! You're alive. So are you. I still can't believe it. Are your wounds healed? Yes. Thalia told me what happened. You saved my life. Well, I was almost took it. After nearly taking it, I had no idea. Forgive me, but how did you ever come to be there, Jill? Fighting for them. The Iron Blood. They invaded not long after the news arrived. About Fink's gate. Rosaria had lost her leaders. The duchy was in chaos. The Iron Kingdom saw our weakness and pounced upon it. They killed the men and captured the women. And took you back to Iron Home. I thought they meant to have their fun with me before the end. But the end never came. My powers awoke, and everything changed. It all happened so fast. We were told that the Iron Blood had captured a dominant and planned to bring her on their latest crusade. Mm. They gave me a choice. To fight for them on the battlefield, or see my countrywomen slaughtered. And they call us dominance. What? Oh, let that one slip, old Clivey boy. What happened to Clive? What happened at Phoenix Gate?
Oh, we're not sure, honestly, anymore. It was me. I killed Joshua. No, that's not true. I know you, you wouldn't do that. It's the truth. I changed into him again, not long ago. The second icon of fire, the one responsible. <laughs> Clive. When I think back to that night, Was he there? The hooded man. He, he spoke to me. What did he say? Sarsis. We have found you. What did he mean? Clive, we should go back there to Phoenix Gate. I need to know what really happened, and so do you. You need to know for certain. And if what you told me is true, and you did what you said you did, then we will face it together. Jill, I... Jill the best! <laughs> Jill the best! All right. You'll be needing a change of clothes, then. Out you go, your lordship. We wouldn't want you getting overexcited. You're right. You're right. Uh, Clive, get sorry. out of there. Benedict aside, boob, was enough. I'll see you soon, then. Get me out of here. <laughs> I should be ready, too. We have a long journey ahead of us. Side quest. I'll come down as soon as I've got changed, Clive. I thought I told you to make yourself scarce. Your friend needs to get dressed. Lady, you don't think I've ever seen a boob before? Okay, you're right. You're right. You're right. Goodbye. Also, every time Clive is in a cutscene, like every single time I've thought this in my mind, um, I love his design. I love his character design. He looks so good. Half a dozen. Their bunks are made up. I can move whenever you're ready. You! Newcomer! I need help. What's the matter? It's my assistant. She left to gather soil, and I've seen nothing of her since. I cannot concentrate one whit for fear of what might have happened. Please, I beg of you, will you go and check? I have to know. Of course. All right. It's a I'll side go. quest. This Marvelous. is the one hundred percent playthrough. You. You'll be rewarded for your time, of course. Whereabouts is she? Gotan's Bales. It's on the outskirts of Lostwig. Not the safest place for an unaccompanied bearer, perhaps, but the soil there is second to none. Now go, and do not linger. Why, it may already be too late. Okay, buddy. Okay. Okay. Is there another? Do I have another side quest? I do! I yield fat chocobo. You can really do with a proper place to train, my friend. Is fat chocobo here? Yes. Oh, what are you gonna tell me to do? I can serve some beer? Ah, Clive! I trust you're settling in? Not at all. Gradually getting used to the place. You don't know the shit we've I'm been through in the last two hours, it. Kenneth. I was hoping you might be persuaded to come to my aid once more. I don't doubt it. Seems to be the way around here. We strive to be better than those we once served. 
Now, as to the task itself, I am once again in need of a pair of hands to deliver sustenance to our esteemed companions. I have three meals for three industrious souls. What say yep, you? Yep, literally. Waiter Clive, at your service. I'd be happy to help. Marvelous. The three individuals you'll be seeking out are busying themselves about the hideaway. You'll find one by the entrance, another in the bunks, and the other guarding the cells. Thank you once again, Clive. I want that quest accepted sound. We just don't have enough teams to follow every lead. Let's get this fixed before someone does. So what's going on in here? No, okay. going insane yep I am oh what I wouldn't give for some wild Mickey berries milky berries milky Can I help you can it send me a simple yet sustaining dish of boiled eggs and belt bread Lovingly assembled by the Hideaway's resident meal smith. Ah, wonderful. Do you hear that? Our food has arrived. Does your appetite still elude you? No, I'm starving. Is he sick? <sighs> I'm afraid so. Those no longer in need of a physicer's immediate ministrations are sent here for further rest. Physicer. I tend to those who cannot tend to themselves. Which leaves me very little time for anything else. Happily, Kenneth sees that I stay fed. I would be lost without the kindness of good people like him and yourself. Thank you. Come, you must eat if you're to recover. I hate to be a burden, but... I just ran out before he said thank you. you really Sorry, Pops. <laughs> <laughs> don't judge me. You don't know what happened an hour ago. Who did you bend up? Back so soon? Fancied another kip in the cells, did you? Just give me my food. Yeah, he, he thought you might be hungry. He wasn't wrong. The way my gut's been growling, I'd have curls running scared. <laughs> Guard duty down here can't be much fun. It's not. But sometimes folk need locking up, and someone has to watch over them. You keep yourself on the right side of these bars now, you hear me? What'd you do, buddy? Gav. Sorry, I had to do a little jump in front of you just to show you how. Just to show you that I'm feeling fine, feeling good. Sid's gone off again to Rosaria this time to pick up some supplies. Never can get him to sit still. Ooh, something smells good. It is. Thank you. Let's see if Kenneth. I just showered for the first time in seven days. Thank you. Thank you for noticing. Oh, my thanks. These birds are needy creatures. They don't like me running off to the fat chocobo behind their backs. <laughs> they must keep you busy. Ah, there's never a moment's rest. Probably for the best I eat down here, reeking of the staples as I do. I'd only put people off their food. And who has time to wash and dress for dinner when they've got little darlings like these to wait upon, eh? Anyway, thanks for the food. And be sure to give Kenneth my regards. I like you, Chocobo Keeper. 
I think that's everyone. I bet Thank I can you. Live now. Thank you for taking care of the chocos. You're back. All done? Here. Your reward. The hideaway is quite something. Everyone has their place. A fact we are proud of, believe me. I'm glad you've witnessed it for yourself. You have your place too, of course, as you have just so capably proven. At it's kind of you to say so. It is the truth, and not a soul among us would deny it. A single guild bug. Go listen to your Kenneth. Okay, I just want to jump back into old Hippocrates oh, quick. So many uses. Have you come for a tail? I just want to see something. What subject shall we consider today? So Jill. Dominant of Shiva and Clive's childhood friend, in the wake of the tragedy of Phoenix Gate, Jill was taken prisoner by the Iron Blood Army that marched on Rosalith and held captive on uh, Hare Islands. It was there that she awakened at the as the Dominant of Shiva and was forced to serve as the Crusader's weapon in their holy wars. I love it how... Um, where is he? Where is he? I don't think that's a typo. I think that is a way of like saying. Elwyn. I don't think so. It might be just like a way to like say her islands and their kind of like language they're using. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Um, so Elwyn literally talks... At the beginning of the game, they talk about how the Iron Blood consistently tried to take over Rosaria. But Elwyn stopped them at every turn, and they eventually gave... Jill as a ward to be like, Okay, we're sorry. Take her. She will do everything for you, blah, blah, blah. She will be a ward, essentially. And then the second there was a little fracture in Rosaria, the Iron Blood went down there instantly. Those shitbirds. Kenneth? Chief Cook, it's inside away. Yep. You know what I'm looking for. Bro, what? He didn't show up here? The hooded man did not show up here. And he, after that cutscene, also didn't have anything added to his tome. What are you doing, game? What are you doing? And there's Gav, uh... Only find himself being hunted in by turn by the Imperials. As luck would have it, Clive arrived in the nick of time to save his life, forging an unbreakable bond between them. Well, don't worry. Nothing bad will happen. The Iron Kingdom. An archipelago nation uh, situated off the west coast of Storm, with its capital at Craig Lost Gate. Lost -jid. The Mother Crystal Drake's breath rises from a volcanic island situated just within its borders, and is worshipped as a god, just as the state religion, the crystalline orthodox dictates. The same religion decrees the use of magic to be a nethma, and the bears and dominants who use it to be sinful aberrations, leading to even greater discrimination than that suffered by their brethren on the mainland. Given their stated desire to control all the mothers, the Iron Blood's attitude to other nations is one of indelible antagonism. Okay, yeah. So I think that's Lay of the Land that talks about it there, yeah. But Mysteries of the Realm, did anything pop up here, potentially? 
Oh, it's called semi-priming. Okay. That's what I was wondering. Had to Google like three words in that one. <laughs> That's fair. So priming is when you go full icon. But semi-priming is what Sid does a lot. Did you learn everything you needed? No, Hippocrates, I did not learn everything I needed. There's a hooded man running around, showed his face, and you don't know about him? Hmm? You're working in cahoots with him, Hippocrates? I'm going to search Bo Hummel. Search for Bo Hummel's assistant at Galtan's Bales. He seems to only know what you tell him. Maybe. I never thought of it that way. I never thought of it that way. You are correct. I am dumb. Or you tell him about it and then he knows. I don't know. I don't know. Farnsey finally admits he's dumb. Papa, I literally <laughs> say that all the time. Someone's in trouble. Hey! Yeah. Level 19. Call an ambulance. Bruh, stop hitting the wrong fudging buttons. Enemies approach, eh? Get them all you've got, boy. Get them, boy. You know what to do, boy. Over here. Keep your distance, boy. Sick of toggle. What were you doing out here with the spiders? Hurt. It would have been worse if you hadn't come along. Wait, uh, I've seen you around the hideaway. You're new, aren't you? I'm Clive. And I'm Martel. But what are you doing here? Looking for you. This is no place for a bearer on her own. I noticed that. But this soil's not going to collect itself. Then what if I gathered it for you? You could head back to the hideaway. Just exactly what sort of dirt is it that you need? What I need is soil. But I'd be a fool to refuse your help after what just happened. Oh, you want to sass me? Okay, it's get your own fucking soil then. For. Dark, rich, fragrant. You'll know it when you find it. Dark, rich, and fragrant. Right. Well, you should hurry back. Bohemil seemed worried enough that he might come Clive, looking for you himself. I will not die That's until I find who killed unlikely. my brother. Also, but Clive. I won't argue with you. Digging in the soil. Thanks. I'm so happy. <laughs> Clive, make up your mind. Soil, then. There's certainly enough of it here. But is it dark, rich, and fragrant? the other one where's the other one yeah exactly 
It's like in Final Fantasy VIII with, well, spoilers, if you haven't played Final Fantasy VIII, I'm about to spoil something, so you have three seconds. It's like in Final Fantasy VIII at the end of, uh, Disc 3, where Noah's in all trouble. You have to save her. She's floating into frickin' space, and Squall's running around asking the astronauts if they want to play cards. <laughs> Renoa, be enough. Renoa's uh, oxygen is running right out. Do 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 Squall, help me. Do 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 Triple Tried came from FF8. Yep. It's Final Fantasy VIII's big mini game. There you are, and all safe and sound. <laughs> I imagine Clive just holding dirt in his hands. Do yeah, you right want this? Not the girl. Or the soil. Did you bring it? Uh, yes. Here. <laughs> Glorious. When Martel came home empty-handed, I almost had a fit. But with this. With this, my research can continue. First and foremost come the measurements. I must know how much ether each sample contains. From there... Wait, so you were never... Worried about me? Sorry to disappoint you, but the only thing he worries about is his research. But that's... That's all right. It's just how he is. And if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be growing anything in these ruins. It's a small price to pay. Although, you shouldn't have to pay it too. Did he even offer you anything for helping? Ugh, here. I know it's not much, but it's something, at least. Is it hand soap? My hands are very dirty. Sorry. Soily. I wish I could offer you some fruit, too. But you're not likely to thank me if I do. Still, we'll grow something worth eating one of these days, and when we do, you'll have first pick. Oh, okay. I mean, I'll take it. Now, my research can continue. Yeah, I played Triple Triad so much in 14 that every now and then Jess will just be walking around the house and she'll be like, do 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 And I'm like that Akira meme. Ah, make it stop. Ah. <laughs> What do you want? To say farewell. We're leaving. Good decision. Better that than buried out there in the black. You've got a lot to thank that girl for, you know. I know. And I will. Now, what do you really want? We both know you don't come here for conversation. Holy moly. The Gaia Blade? That sounds cool as hell. Well, common on the southern continent worship... Er, well, common on the southern continent worship of the land itself as a deity is almost unheard of in Ballastea. That, however, has not stopped the import of fine steel blades. Blessed by Gaian... Uh... Providers? Presbyters? Presby... Gaian... Under the claim... That they are deadlier and more durable than those forged and twins. It'd better all be here. Yeah, don't worry. 
Just take all my money. Not find a better price than that. Take all my money. See if I give an F. You're rubbing me blind, you know. Reduces Rook's Gambit cooldown by 2.7. 11k? Holy shit. If I die, you die too, lady. It'd better all be here. You'll not find a better price than that. Off you go, then. I should probably say thank you to Gav, too. I see I'm busy here. I'm saying for you, dear. Wait, I can make... Storm cry? It ins okay, so the the purple is very good. It just straight up makes a weapon. What the fudge? Okay. You're so cheap you'd rather eat a game over than buy potions. <laughs> yeah, well we're gonna do this. No scratches, alright? So spurred by your cries, did wind become storm? So can I not reinforce it? Is there something special about it? Because if there isn't, then the Gaia Blade is obviously way better. Should last you a good while. Gotcha. Gotcha. We're still talking about soiling. So your mind's made up, is it? We'll be leaving for Rosaria as soon as we're able. Back down memory lane, eh? Rosaria ain't what she used to be, Clive. And not since the Imperials moved in. First sign of trouble, you make straight for Martha's rest and ask for the landlady. She's a friend of the cause. Tell her you was Sid, and she'll help you out. Understood. Thank you, Gav. Yeah. I'd be lost without you. Yeah, I'm just doing my job. No need to make such a fuss. You take care. All right. Oh, I'm crap at goodbyes. Where's Sid when you need him? Give him my regards when he gets back. I will. Sorry to keep you waiting. Ready, my lady. Ready. So happy. So I never even really thought about it, but like obviously when Rosaria went down, like the Imperials took it over. Like <laughs> three reeds, Eastern Rosaria, rising waters transformed once fertile farmland into a noisum, into a noisum morass, rendering it nigh uninhibitable to all but leeches and lizards. Rosaria, it's been 13 years. But this breeze, the smell of the grass, is just as I remember it. You haven't been back either. Look at my sword! Branded, keep a close watch on each other in the Imperial Army. You get beheaded just for knowing a deserter. 
The only way out was on a mission. I see. But mostly I was afraid. Afraid to go back. I know. But I'm here now. All this track. Oh, they love each other. Thanks to you. The Imperial Province of Rosario. This game is... Beautiful. Even that little text pop up as it's the camera's rising up to show you all of Rosario. It was just perfect timing. That's in at the top of the hill must be Martha's rest. Gav said the landlady's a friend. But can we say the same for her patrons? Imperials don't tend to take well to those with my mark. If anyone asks, I'm a branded soldier, sworn to protect my noble mistress. Oh yeah, if I wasn't so close to death, I would have fought all the uh, Garuda clones as well. But they were whipping my ass. <laughs> I also like how Gab was like, when you get in trouble, go see Martha. And we get here and instantly he's like, ah, let's go see Martha. We're not in trouble, but you know it's going to happen, so. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is like the first really big area. Or I could be wrong. There could have been like other areas I didn't really look at, but like this seems like a big area. Hello. On this one. Explains why there's a I mean, we have to go fight these things, right? Big horn. Get him, boy. There, boy. Don't let them get away. You'll just get sent to the moon. Oh, she's so cool. She's so cool. Sick of Togo. Don't let them get away. Get him, boy. Oh, he freaking fuming. seem very intense. <laughs> I 
Oh, Death Blossom. Get him, boy. Oh yeah, oh, that ended way faster. Speedrun technique. Get ready to see this during every speedrun stakes. Get a boy. You know what to do, boy. Oh. Suck it. Pull this all out of nowhere. Stab his ass, Clive. That's it. Thank you. It's over. I don't even know what I got there for, because I was freaking mashing. Dude, why did it look like there was just a shadow that ran across the screen? What the fudge was that? <sighs> Go up to them and don't do anything and just hit square. There, boy. Sick of toggle. Like, don't be holding, like, forward or anything, because you'll just keep it down. Actually, that worked there. Holding it forward. See, now it's not working. You might be only- you might only be able to do it once. For enemy? I don't know. But yeah, you have to- you can't just keep comboing yet. Pretty sure. Oh, this game's pretty. There, boy. Well, well. Stay down. It almost seems like you can only do it once on an enemy. I don't know for sure, though. They're dying way faster than the big cow did. Friends! Not friends. Yeah, the birds flew away. They were like, frick this. Um, I'm going to equip my stronger weapon. Because the Stormcry is cool, but I don't think that I... Oh, that looks cool. Is a Malboro going to jump out and murder me? There, boy. Give them all you've got, boy. Get him, boys! It's over. What did I get? Oh, just sharp fangs. Well, 43 sharp fangs. It was all me. <laughs> I had all the sharp fangs. Oh, ho, ho, another one added to the collection. I can't wait to sell sharp fang necklaces. We making that money, Torgal? I'm gonna shoot my shot right now and say when I eventually get to unlock hunts, there's going to be a Malboro in this area. I'm calling it now. I'm calling my shot. Shooting that shot. finished building the bridge then after what happened at phoenix gate it didn't seem the highest priority ease what happened chocobo buddy hey what happened Oi, stop and give me an hand okay i will give you an hand here you couldn't give me an hand could you typical a bloody bearer and just when i thought my luck had changed Still, 
Better a crumb of crystal than an empty hand, I suppose. Don't be a dinkle. Though it pains me to use another man's branded. I'll chop your head right off. Here, you understand me, don't you? I need your help. These blasted birds must have caught whiff of my cargo, and now they've got me surrounded. And it was really late as it was. I've got something special needs delivering before the rest, but I dare not leave my cart untended. You couldn't run it up to Martha's rest for me, could you? Needs to get there a quick mind. Fine. Why not? That's the spirit. All right. Here. You hand that to the stable master and no one else. I'm owed a little something for it. If he gives it to you, pass it along to your master by way of thanks. Be off with you then. And don't go taking any detours on the way. What a bird wants, a bird gets. Hi, buddies. What's in here? Is there a bird in here? I'm gonna stay on the uh, the path, okay? I'll be back in this area enough. Oh fudge. Here we are. Martha's rest. Be cool. Be cool. <sighs> oh, wrong button. You didn't see that. You didn't see that. I don't have powers. That's one of our branded. Do we take him in? He's not one of ours. Look, he's with his master. Okay, Joe. Tanner Boo. Hello, Gerard. Are you the stable master? I was asked to deliver this to you. A heavy wooden crate nailed fast and branded with a courier's iron. This is for me, right enough. Right I'm not sure what some bearer is doing bringing it to me, though. Where's that fool of a peddler got to? I killed him. He couldn't come himself. His cart surrounded by wild chocobos. Hmm. Huh. Sounds about right. He'll have it full of Gizal greens, no doubt. Crammed with him, if I know him. Wait, that's how you say that? Gizal greens. Gizal? Chocobos go mad for them, don't they? And if you forget to seal the cart up tight, the smell gets out. And birds come running from miles around. Don't get me wrong. They're a fine investment for a savvy merchant, especially around these parts. But you can't get greedy, as our mutual friend is learning the hard way. Still, I got my wares, and that's all that matters. Be sure to pass your master my regards. Right oh. Give me some of them Geishel greens. Good girl, you get some rest now. You barely have to step out your front door these days before you're set upon by beasts or, or, or bandits. So much for the Holy Empire bringing us a new age of enlightened order. Scared myself there. as friendly as Gav claims. Let's go and find out, shall we? Let's go find out. Very good to East Pool, leave them in the park. And when's that gonna be? We're home. Well, not quite home, but we're close. We're close.
Following cheatery will be repaired with a swift boot to the arse. Fingering. It was good, honest work building the aqueduct. <laughs> Proper leaders, proper traits, not just selling out. Excuse me, would you happen to be the landlady? Depends who's asking, and why they have an imperial bearer with them. For protection, which hopefully won't be needed. If you can advise me on the safest route to the west. It's your friend here I'd be worried about. Bearers don't have an easy time of it in Rosaria. Even a Stratton lad like him might attract the wrong kind of attention. And if he gets nabbed, it ain't likely to end well for you either. Then we'll just have to stay out of the militia's way. Gav said you might be able to help us. Follow me. That was easy. <laughs> Sorry for before. Can't be too wary of strangers asking questions in our game. I'm Martha, an old friend of Sid's. He said he had high hopes for a bearer who joined recently. I expect that's you. An old friend. So, where is it you're headed? For Phoenix Gate. We have questions that need answering. Is that so? Well, if you want to avoid the garrison, the road through Eastpool's your best bet. Or it would be, if the bridge hadn't collapsed. A right blooming nuisance it is. We've had no trade with the village for weeks. We can jump that gap easy. I did ask our carpenter to take a look at it. But he went out on another job. And he hasn't come back. Do you think something might have happened to him? Fingers crossed he's just taking his time. The alternative don't bear thinking about. We'll find him. And make sure he's safe. We both need that bridge repaired. And your carpenter sounds like the man to do it. I see why Sid's got such a soft spot for you. If you could, I'd be in your debt. You said that he went out on a job? Right. He went down into the marshes to check on another bridge. The one by the Fallen Gate. The marshes were dangerous at the best of times. We should hurry. There's a ladder to the side of the gate. That's the quickest way down, if you've a head for heights. His name oh, is oh. Bernard. Should you find him well, tell him Martha sent you. And that he's wanted at the bridge to Eastpool. Building bridges. Nice. Well... To the marshes then. We Let's were, find that ladder. We were gonna go to Phoenix Gate. But instead we have to uh build a bridge now. Hm. Makes sense. Phoenix Gate will have to wait. <laughs> 